My name is May Somali. I was a I'm 2014 Monash Scholar. I was a 2017. I am Monash now the Brooklyn Harris. Oh, my name is Nikki. Uh, I was born in 2016. I couldn't possibly have afforded to go to another country, uh, let alone one of the best universities in the world. And the scholarship really made that happen. It, it gave me both the financial backing, but also, I suppose, the social backing. This big network of scholars who helped me settle in, they helped me move there, they helped me apply to the university. So it really was this kind of uh, holistic package of everything that you really need. Having the role model of Sir John Monash as this incredible leader means that that's something that each of us are aspiring to. Um, and we're honing our leadership skills so that we can be able to facilitate great progress in our respective fields, but also work together. They obviously represent the brightest uh, and the most um, connected uh, future leaders that we've ever had. And it's that connectedness that I think is such a great opportunity for the nation to have leaders in all fields and to bring an interdisciplinary mindset to the problems that affect the nation and that affect the world. It's changed my life receiving the scholarship. I've got an opportunity to move into a different space of healthcare, which is artificial intelligence in healthcare that has now taken me on a journey as a researcher in how to develop AI for healthcare. The Monash Foundation has allowed me to pursue a PhD in circumstances where it would be simply impossible. Pursuing or deciding to pursue a PhD in your 30s, when you're leaving the workforce, you're thinking about having a family. I think for a woman, if there isn't really strong financial support, it's just simply not an option. The Monash Foundation and the scholarship program gives me that opportunity to say uh, to younger, enthusiastic, intelligent, capable individuals, you're there, get on with change. I'm right behind you and this is the best investment I can make. It's really instilled in me this uh, responsibility of what it means to be Australian and what it means to have access to education. And uh, I know that had I been kind of born in another context, um, in Iran, where my parents are from, I wouldn't actually get access to higher education. Given the immense backing we have from the Australian community, I think there is a real obligation for us to return at the end of our scholarships um, and actually come up with some tangible, workable solutions. It not only gives us access to amazing educational opportunities abroad, the best institutions, but really that instills within us this idea of giving back. From my humble perspective, I can see them having an impact. I come across Monash scholars regularly. They're in important positions in the world, and I hope that they will reach into civics as well to become our leaders, our politicians, and those who have not only aspirations, but dreams and the capacity to do something about those dreams. We actually see our donation here as an investment in the future of Australia. These are the young, great minds of this country, and hopefully they will become the leaders of this country. For us, of all our giving, this is a really, really rewarding giving for us. We love it.